So the terminology that you mentioned is weaponized as uh, sort of safe spaces or that certain conversations make people feel unsafe. What do you think about this kind of idea? You know, is, is, is there some things that are unsafe to talk about in the university setting? Is there lines to be drawn somewhere? And uh, just like you said, on the flip side with a slippery slope, is it too easy for the lines to be drawn everywhere? Yeah, uh, th that's a great question. So this idea of unsafe space, uh, at least the vocabulary derives from some research, uh, academic research about feeling psychologically uh, unsafe. And so the notion here is that there is uh, there are forms of uh, uh, psychological disquiet that impedes people from uh, experiencing the educational environment to the greatest degree uh, possible. And that's the uh, argument. Uh, I and, and assuming for a moment that uh, people do have these feelings of, of, of disquiet uh, at elite universities like MIT and like Harvard, that's probably the safest space people are going to be in for their their, their lives because when they get out into the, the quote unquote real world, uh, they won't have the uh, the sorts of uh, nets that these schools provide, safety nets that these schools provide. Uh, so to the extent that research is descriptive of a psychological feeling, I think that the duty of the universities uh, are to challenge people. It seems to me that it's a shame to go to a place like Harvard or a place like MIT, Yale, any of these uh, great institutions and come out the same person that you were when you went in. Uh, that seems to be a horrible waste of four years and 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 money and and, and resources. Rather, uh, we ought to challenge uh, students that they grow, um, uh, challenge some of the uh, their most deeply held assumptions. Um, they they may continue to hold them, but the point of an education is to rigorously interrogate um, these fundamental assumptions that have guided you uh, thus far, and to do it uh, fairly and, and civilly. So that to the extent that there are lines that should be drawn, uh, there's a long tradition in the university of civil discourse. So you should uh, draw a line somewhere between civil discourse and uncivil discourse. The purpose of a university is to talk difficult conversations, tough issues, uh, talk directly and frankly, uh, but do it civilly. And, you know, so to, um, you know, yell and cuss at somebody uh, and that sort of thing. Well, you know, do that on your own space, but observe the, the norms of civil discourse at, at the university. Uh, so, look, look, I think that the presumption ought to be that uh, the most difficult topics are appropriate to talk about at yeah. a university. That, that ought to be the presumption. Now, you know, uh, should uh, um, MIT, for example, give its prim imprimatur to someone who is espousing uh, the flat earth theory, you know, the earth is flat, right? So there, if, if certain ideas uh, are, are, so uh, contrary to the scientific uh, and, and and cultural thinking of the of the moment, yeah, there there's space there to draw a line and say, yeah, yeah. we're not going to uh, give you this platform to uh, tell our students that the Earth is 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 flat. Uh, but you know, it's a topic that's controversial but contestatory. Mm -hmm. That's what universities are, are for. If you don't like the idea, present better ideas and articulate them. And I, I think there needs to be a mechanism outside of the space of ideas of humbling. Like I, I've done martial arts for a long time. I got my ass kicked a lot. I think that's really important. I mean, the in the space of ideas, I, I mean, even just in engineering, just all the math classes, my memories of math, which I love, is is kind of pain <laughs> is basically coming face to face with the with the idea that I'm not special 
that I'm much dumber than I thought I was, and that anything, accomplishing anything in this world requires really hard work. That's really humbling. That makes you, that, that puts you, because I remember when I was 18 and 19, and I thought I was gonna be the smartest, the best fighter, the, the Nobel Prize winning, uh, you know, all those kinds of things. And then you come with face to face with reality and it hurts. And it feels like there needs to be efficient mechanisms from the best universities in the world to, without abusing you, it's a very difficult line to, to walk, without like uh, mentally or physically abusing you, be able to humble you. And that's what I felt was missing in these very difficult, very important conversations is the 19 year olds, when they spoke up, the mechanism for humbling them with ideas was missing. Uh, it got kind of gotten broke, broken down because as you say, there does, like I sensed fear. Every, everything was permeated with fear. And fear is uh, paralyzing and fear is destructive, especially in a place that's supposed to be all about freedom of ideas. Right. 